This video features a cute little owl on top of a cake with a beautiful fondant wrap. And just in case you don't know, I have a book on Amazon. It's called Wedding Cakes with Lorelei Step by Step. Check it out. And this is one of the recipes that's in the book. It's a chocolate buttermilk cake. It's one of my favorites. And this is the buttercream that I use. It's Italian meringue buttercream, and you can find that link below all my videos. I use a lot of raspberries, fresh ones mostly, but you can also use frozen. Raspberries go fantastically with chocolate cake and just about any cake. The buttercream has melted white chocolate in it, which is another favorite thing that I like to do with my buttercream. The cake goes in the fridge and firms up a little bit. And I'm just giving my cake a taste just to make sure it's so good. And this is the final frosting, which goes on pretty thick. Then just thin it out as you go and scrape it down until you get it to your liking. And I use a bench scraper a lot when it comes to making the cake look smooth. Now this cake didn't have to be extremely smooth. I knew that I was going to be covering it with a fondant wrap and um, that it was going to be a little on the rustic side. Pop it back in the fridge. Oh, I wanted to let you know that at my website I have something new called The Guides. This is a buttercream cake, or no, buttercream guide, not buttercream cake guide. And you can use your voice to activate it, which is really cool, and you never have to touch the screen. It also comes in various languages. Check it out, I'll leave the link below. There's the owl that I'm making, and this is fondant, which I'm adding a little bit of Tylose powder to, because I want the fondant to be a little firmer, and I want it to dry a little harder. So create an egg shape, that's the first thing you wanna do. And then using a little lighter color brown, to make the feathers, you want to roll it out pretty thin and use a leaf cutter. Then you just layer them on with a little bit of just a dab of water or gum glue. Put the feathers on and then just overlap them. Then for the eyes eyes are super important on this. Now I made a couple different sizes just to play around with with a round cutter and then I used for the blue part I used an actual cake decorating tip to make that part and then for the black that goes in the center I used the top of this pen and it was perfect. Then for the wings and this goes over the top of the head and, the, and it makes a little drape over it which you can then cut and leave a little piece for the wings which I'm doing right here and just smooth that out and cut off any excess Now for the ears, just use a little tiny piece, make almost like what looks like horns, and then just gum glue those on, or, or water, you can use water. And if you don't know how to make gum glue, it's super easy, just take a piece of fondant or gum paste, put it in a little bit of water and let it sit, and it will make like a gooey, gummy stuff that you can use to glue things on with. And right here I'm gluing on the little beak, which is just a little carrot shape and use the little cutter here that I'm showing you to make the feet. Now, here's the original eye. I thought it was too big, but you could use them big like that, but I wanted them to be a little smaller. So I took my round cutter and I made them a little smaller. There they are, they're perfect and just glue those on there with a little bit of water again, or gum glue. There you go, so cute. And I put them on a little branch. And the branch is made out of gum paste as well. For the wrap, I have an actual tutorial for you. I'm gonna to link to that because I didn't actually do the how-to here. I just wanted to show you the wrap itself and it's really quite easy to do. It's kind of um, 
It's really artistic and kind of creative, and I think it's beautiful. It kind of looks like birch bark. And then gold around the edges, I think, really brings it out. It makes it look very elegant. I wanted a, a little touch of elegance on there. Now the fondant wrap is also pressed into a sugar lace mold just to give it some texture. And then I made a little goof up here, so I'm just taking my um, a scraping tool and just getting that little bit of gold that I got on the buttercream by mistake off of the cake. And there you go, it's so pretty, so cute. My friend loved her owl cake. And this is what it looked like when she cut into it. I hope you enjoyed that video.